Technophobia, or fear of technology, is one of the most common themes in science fiction as a genre. Um, the idea that advanced technology does not equal an advanced society uh, has been seen in films as early as 1927 with Metropolis, which depicts a robot manipulating an advanced society into revolting and collapsing in on itself. The idea of the killer robot as a character, though, really took off years later with the release of 2001, A Space Odyssey. Uh, films like these express our deep, arguably irrational fear that computers can outsmart us. Uh, with the technological boom of recent decades, even, this fear is becoming our reality. I mean, if we push this concept a bit further, it's not just that computers are getting smarter, it's that they are also becoming more human-like, both intellectually, as shown in 2001 A Space Odyssey, but also like physically and metaphorically, as shown in Metropolis. These computers aren't just programmed to kill, but instead they're, they decide to kill, which is even more terrifying. Uh, Karen James, writer for Macworld, suggests that this is because we villainize what we don't understand. And it's safe to say we don't fully understand all the developments in computers and technology of recent years. Even in the early years of computers, their complexity and mystery was overwhelming to average people. Many wondered what the upper limit to these machines even were, if they had one. Will they at some point surpass us as humans? And even if we were to avoid death at the hands of our own technology, would the future really be a better place? Technophobia, in fact, goes just... It goes beyond just threatening killer robots, that character, but it's also a fear that as society changes with the introduction of new technology, the freedoms and pleasures we enjoy today will slowly vanish. Science fiction plays with the idea that better technology does not necessarily equate to a better lifestyle. Again, Metropolis is a good example of this with the obvious depiction of the massive wage gap between the upper and lower classes, but we can see this in more modern films as well. Um, Logan's Run, for example, which came out in 1976, and Wally from 2008, both depict entire civilizations deprived of basic pleasures due to their over reliance on technology. And it's odd for us to think of a genre which typically glamorizes technology to also be so extremely cautious of it. But that's exactly how science fiction has always been, basically. It's a whole basis around the subgenre of the dystopic future sci-fi. They consider what life would be like were technology to develop unchecked. The common themes being loss of motivation, loss of independent thinking, loss of individuality, characteristics that modern audiences treasure and couldn't really think of even living without these things. This is because of a preconception that technology is developing only to satisfy us on a superficial level. In Wally, for example, people are supplied with just an endless assortment of luxuries, but that discourages any sort of personal development or ambition. People have no reason to strive for anything and become complacent in a life lacking of deeper meaning. Uh, on the flip side of this, movies like Her from 2013 um, depict technology as it fails to fulfill those deeper human needs, such as in the example of Her, love. Technophobia can also stem from the more primal fear of evolutionary competition and rivalry. Currently, humanity is comfortably sitting as the dominant species on the planet. But what if we 
we're unintentionally developing our own successor. Sociologist Anton Kozlovic said that the difference lies in the technological versus the biological. Technology is able to adapt and change much faster than us biological beings ever could, so it's inevitable that our inventions will someday surpass us. And we can see this already happening uh, in our modern society. We all know this. We all see this firsthand every year as computers continue to become more and more powerful while humans, evolutionarily speaking, are the same as we were a thousand years ago. We all know this, and it's scaring us. We're therefore inherently different from machines and that it's conceivable that machines could one day become perfect, whereas humans are inherently and proudly flawed. Computers are our natural enemy, so to speak, and while we have them under our control for now, science fiction warns us to be weary. Movies such as iRobot from 2004 and the Terminator franchise rely heavily on this premise and depict a future where computers have developed to the point of being able to directly combat humanity for survival. Technophobia in science fiction takes many forms. But it is a very common theme, whether it be fear of what a single machine is capable of, or what a swarm of machines are capable of, or just our own reliance on machines. Technophobia addresses the mysterious and sometimes terrifying future that technology is offering us.